Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. I'm excited about today's video because it's just going to be like a casual sit down talk kind of video and I want to share with you um, my fall 2023 bucket list. I have seen um, a few people share videos like this in the past and I just thought it would be fun to kind of come up with my own bucket list of things that I would like to do this fall season and share it with you all. Okay, so I have my list right here, and the first thing on my list is a pumpkin patch. I wanted to take Rowdy to a pumpkin patch this year. We took him to one on um, his first fall. He was about 10 months old, and so there were still a lot of things that he couldn't do while we were there because he was just too little. Um, so I would like to take him this year. We didn't get to go last year, but I think he's at a really fun age. He is about two and a half. He'll be three in December, so I would love to take him to a pumpkin patch during the month of October. I think it would be a lot of fun, and I want him to be able to pick out a pumpkin so we can carve, which is also on my list, is to carve a pumpkin. And the year that we took him to the pumpkin patch, we did carve a pumpkin with him, and I'll see if I can pop up some pictures right here. And like I said, he was only like 10 months old then, but he enjoyed it, so I think he would really enjoy it at the age he is now. So those are two things on my list. Go to a pumpkin patch and for Rowdy to get a pumpkin and us to carve it. The next thing I have on my list is a fall festival. I want to take Rowdy to a fall festival this year. Um, he didn't go to one last year. We had like a fall um, trunk or treat thing at our church. So like you could decorate the trunk of your car. And after Sunday services, we, you know, the kids could go trick or treat or trunk or treat at the trunk. So we did do that, but I want to take him to a fall festival this year, either at um, a church or sometimes the school I work at will do one, so I want to take him to that. I think it would be fun to let him play the games at a fall festival. Okay, the next thing on my list I have is antique shopping. And I don't like to do this just during fall time. You know, I have a couple of local thrift shops in my area, thrift antique stores that I like to go to periodically, but I would like to find a new antique store this fall season that I haven't gone to yet and do a little bit of antique shopping. Um, there's not anything in particular that I would be looking for, but that is something I would like to do during this fall season. Find a new antique store that I've never gone to and do a little bit of antique shopping. I think that would be really fun. I like to find um, antique vintage pieces to put in my home. Um, and I just think that vintage pieces, especially at fall time, I really like that. You know, they have a lot of brassy tones and that kind of thing. So we definitely want to go antique shopping this fall season. Another thing I have on my list is football. Um, if you're new and or you haven't heard me share this before, my husband is a football coach, and so we spend a lot of time at football games during the fall season. It's definitely a big part of our lives this time of year. Um, so on my list, I have football, and that's just on my bucket list to go to all the football games, which we do every year. But I would like to take Rowdy maybe to a college football game. I don't know if he is old enough yet, so that might have to like be in the future, but it's on my list to think about for this year to maybe take him to a football game, like a college football game. He goes to, you know, like obviously all the high school football games, but that's on my bucket list as a possibility to maybe take him to a college football game, um, or at least, you know, watch a lot of football, college football on TV. One thing we love to do is watch college football and you know, do all the fun game day snacks and things like that. So um, I'm just gonna relate football to all of the above on my bucket list to do for this season. Okay, the next couple of things are like food related. I want to make caramel apples. I love caramel apples. Um, I've never made them myself, but I want um, to make some with Rowdy this year. And if that is something that we end up being able to do, I will film it and share it in the video. But I want us to make some at home. Caramel apples are one of my favorite things, especially at fall time. If we ever go to like the fair or anything like that, I always like to get a caramel apple. But I wanna try to make them at home and let Rowdy help me. I just think that would be fun. Make it even do some with like sprinkles or um, something like that on there. So definitely want to try to do that during this fall season. The next like food related thing I have is a bonfire slash weenie roast. And that's just like where you roast hot dogs and make s'mores. We used to do this a lot whenever I was a child with my um, momo. We would make, 
have like hot dog weenie roast and I loved it. It was always one of my favorite things to do as a child. And I think we've done one when Rowdy was little, but he was like a baby. And we have a fire pit that we don't use nearly often enough. So I definitely want to do that this fall season. And he's old enough. I think he could like roast his own hot dog, make his own s'more. I think he would enjoy that. And I think it would just be a fun family time. So that's something I want to do, me, Kenny, and Rowdy to have a bonfire and roast hot dogs and make s'mores. Fun fact about me, roasted marshmallows are one of my favorite things in the world. I absolutely love roasted marshmallows. I love marshmallows, period, but um, roasted marshmallows are just so good to me. I love when it's like a crisp night and just to have a bonfire and make s'mores and hot dogs just sounds so fun to me. It's hard to imagine that right now because it's still very, very hot here in South Alabama, but I know we will eventually get cooler weather. And when we do, one of the first things that I wanna do when it turns cool is have a bonfire and weenie roast. Okay, the last two things I have are like kind of Halloween related. So the first thing is obviously to take Rowdy trick-or-treating and I don't know what he's gonna be for Halloween this year. I've kind of talked to him about it and I know he doesn't like fully understand um, you know, the concept of dressing up for Halloween and stuff yet because he is only two. Um, but the, his first Halloween, he was about 10 months old and he was a football. It was so, so cute. I got him like a little mud pie football outfit. And if I can, I'll pop the picture of him up here on the screen. I absolutely loved that little outfit. It was so precious and it's one of my favorite pictures of him and memories of him and his little football outfit. And then last year, he was a construction worker. Um, my grandmother actually got him this little uh, belt and it had like different pockets for tools and stuff to go in it. And so I will um, see if I can share a picture of him from last Halloween. So I don't know what he's gonna be this Halloween. I'm gonna let him maybe decide what he wants to be. He loves anything that has to do with trucks, trailers, um, fire trucks, police cars, anything like that. I have an idea that I might like mention to him, see if he'd be interested in. Um, my brother, whenever he was little, he had a red fire truck and my mom had pictures made with him in it when he was younger. And Rowdy does love like fire trucks, uh, police cars, anything like that that has a siren, makes noises. And so I thought about asking if he wanted to go as a fireman and I thought it'd be cute to you know, for him to ride in the little wagon. When we go trick-or-treating, it's really just to family members' homes, like around, you know, all of our family, close family lives close to us. And so we just kind of like, you know, go to their house and he trick-or-treats there. But I'm gonna ask him maybe if he'd be interested in being a firefighter. And um, I definitely, whatever we decide to do for Halloween, I'll definitely share um, either here or on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's always linked down below in my description box, but my Instagram page is called. And I always share things over there, like whenever I post a new video um, and things like that. But I might share like in my stories for Halloween, or I haven't decided I might do like a Halloween vlog. I haven't completely decided yet because I also, you know, holidays I like to enjoy with my family. But if I do decide to film Halloween, I will share that in a video or share some pictures and stuff over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there for just little behind the scene updates and stuff like that. I don't post on there a ton, but I'm gonna try to be better about posting things, especially during the holidays. Um, and also on Halloween, I did this a few years before we had Rowdy. I made chili on Halloween and me and Kenny just ate it ourselves before we had trick-or-treaters or saw our nieces and nephews on Halloween. So I wanna do that again this year, even if it's something I have to put in the crock pot the morning of Halloween, I really wanna make chili and make that become a tradition for us on Halloween to have chili and then you know go trick-or-treating and all of that fun stuff. So something I'm gonna to try to do this year, again, I'll share that in my Halloween vlog if I decide to film that, but that's kind of my bucket list idea for Halloween. And then the last thing I have is to watch Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies to watch. I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Um, they were, you know, played on Disney Channel and I always liked the Disney Channel fall movies, Halloween movies, but I love Hocus Pocus. Um, I just, I just do, <laughs> it's just special to me. Um, and we watched Hocus Pocus 2 whenever it came out. 
Um, I personally think the first one is better. It's my favorite, so I would like to watch Hocus Pocus. I don't know if we can't watch it on Halloween day, close to Halloween, I would like to watch it. So that's on my bucket list too. So I hope that you enjoyed hearing what some of my fall bucket list ideas are. I just thought this would be a fun video to do. Um, so leave your bucket list or at least something something on your bucket list, something you would like to do this fall season. Leave it down below in the comments. I'm always looking for different ideas and activities and things to do, especially with Rowdy for the different seasons. So I'd love it if you, would ha if you have any ideas that are different than what I shared. Definitely leave them down below in the comments. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a give me a thumbs up so I'll know to do more videos like this. I enjoy these sit down videos sometimes. I just think they're more um, personal than other kind of videos. So you'll have to let me know if you enjoy them too. I hope that you did. And I hope that you all have a very blessed fall season. I feel like we are, you know, September's definitely fall month and I'm looking forward to all the fall things still to come. So I uh, hope that you all have a very blessed day and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. <music>